How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing an unboxing review and giveaway for Renfield. I've partnered with Universal to host the giveaway for two digital copies, and I'll be doing an unboxing review for the Blu-ray here, which is the Dragula Sucks Edition, a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack, and a really nice slip cover right here with the two leads on the front, Nicholas Cage and Nicholas Holt. And then the title, Renfield, is embossed. And here is the back. Has a couple shots from the movie, a synopsis. And then some of the special features just kind of glossed over. There is the spine with the title in the middle, Universal logo down there at the bottom, and then Blu-ray and DVD logos up at the top. And then you also have uh, Aquafina right there in the cast. And let me know if you've seen Renfield and what you think of it. And this one to me really blew me away. I thought it was a hilariously entertaining time, great mixture of horror and comedy, and one I definitely plan to revisit often. This was just super entertaining for me. I love the the gore effects really surprised me here, especially when Dragula, when he's you know hit by the sun and stuff like that. Uh, some gross out parts right there, uh, but the comedic elements really elevate this. And I thought everybody played their part really well acting wise in here. I haven't been the biggest fan of Aquafina acting wise in the past, but I like her role here. And I remember I used to love her uh, when she used to post comedic rap videos on YouTube. And Nicholas Holt, uh, I've liked him a lot over the years. He was in the movie About a Boy way back in the day, but he's also been in uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, he was in the X-Men movies as Hank McCoy, Beast, and then uh, Warm Bodies, which I really love. That one's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet uh, zombie movie, if you will. That was a really good mixture of romance, horror, and comedy. And then uh, Nicolas Cage, it's not the first time that he's played a vampire. He uh, plays Dracula here, and he played a vampire in the movie Vampire's Kiss, which is hilariously bad. That one was a, a rough one, but so bad it's entertaining in moments. Nicolas Cage needs to play more uh, vampire roles. He was so good as Dracula. I think that's a role he wanted to play for a long time, and he excelled in it. Right there, the Prince of Darkness. Uh, let me know what your favorite Nicolas Cage movie is. He's been in some great ones. He's been around for a long time. Uh, I really liked him in Con Air. Family Man, which I think is underrated. Joe, I think is underrated. Reminds me a lot of the movie Mud. Uh, the Rock, 8mm, uh, Leaving Las Vegas. Uh, Lord of War, which I think is underrated. I uh, really enjoyed the heck out of that one. Wind Talkers, National Treasure, Gone in 60 Seconds. I remember seeing that one in the theaters. Love the soundtrack on that one. If you love Cars, definitely recommend the heck out of that one. It has Angelina Jolie, Action Overload, really fun time. And a couple of the earlier movies I remember seeing Nicolas Cage in uh, were Valley Girl. Uh, he was also in uh, Raising Arizona, an early Coen Brothers movie, which is with Holly Hunter. Such a fun time. Uh, hilarious one, actually. Uh, and then he was also in Moonstruck with uh, Cher and Danny Aiello. He's got the hand face off. I want to take your face off. And then he's had a resurgence in his career in the past few years. I feel like he did a lot of direct-to-DVD movies, movies where he was being criticized for overacting. And he still does that, but I feel like it's intentional now. But the movies uh, Pig, uh, Mandy, Unbearable, Weight of Massive Talent were incredible and really surprised me. Uh, let me know what your favorite recent Nicolas Cage movie is too, and all time. Uh, but he plays Dragula here in Renfield with uh, Nicholas Holt uh, as his servant, and he's been serving him for a long time, and he's kind of fed up with Dragula. He wants to, you know, do the right thing and protect innocent people. And uh, Renfield is in this toxic relationship anonymous group that he goes to and he listens to people uh, talk about their terrible relationships and he decides to kind of help them out and you know serve his master uh, by getting rid of the abusive people in the relationship and giving them to Dragula. And Dragula says I don't want these terrible people I want innocent people give me nuns bust loads of cheerleaders and Renfield wants to you know break away from Dragula live his own life and help innocent people protect people and Aquafina is a police officer and she's trying to take down this crime family uh the Lobos and uh again Renfield gets involved there and there's a romantic aspect too so I thought that was a really interesting storyline of how it all plays out and then you know Dragula finds out about things and he's not happy <laughs> so again there's some really great uh action sequences in here uh, gore effects and then the comedic moments were hilarious such an entertaining time here and Renfield is directed by Chris McKay who directed uh, Tomorrow War and then the Lego Batman movie which I thought that was a lot of fun actually so it's interesting to see that he's covered so many different genres in such a short time span 
Uh, but this uh, is an excellent horror comedy movie, and I would definitely recommend the heck out of it. And uh, you got some bonus features, kind of glosses over them. So I'm gonna go over uh, the press sheet right here and uh, exclusive bonus features on digital Blu-ray and DVD, hilarious deleted and extended scenes, alternate takes, Dragula and Cage go inside the mind of a vampire as Dragula himself. Nicholas Cage reveals the secrets behind turning a classic character into a memorable monster. Monsters and men behind the scenes of Renfield, an in-depth look at Renfield's cast, sets and costumes and more as the actors and filmmakers reveal how they modernized a famous terror tale with trailblazing comedy and over-the-top action. Stages of rejuvenation. See how special makeup effects bring the undead to life throughout the four stages of Dragula's incredible transformation. Flesh and blood, exploding heads, peeling faces, severed limbs. They're all parts of the macabre movie magic that fuels Renfield with inventive action and hilarious horror. Fighting Dirty, stunt coordinator Christopher Brewster leads a look at the training, choreography, and careful execution that goes into the film's spectacular stunts and fight scenes. The making of a deleted scene, Renfield's dance, Nicholas Holt and choreographer Catherine Burns pull back the curtain of constructing an elaborate musical number for a fantasy dance sequence. Feature commentary with producer Samantha Nisenboim, screenwriter Ryan Ridley, and crew. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, but here's the slip cover again, the spine, the back, again, scenes of the movie, synopsis, special features, you take it off, it's the same right there for the Blu-ray artwork on the front cover, the spine, and the special features, this does have a digital copy, and then you have the uh, Blu-ray disc and then the DVD disc, and I like how they're both unique, it has that kind of like aqua teal color uh, for the DVD, and then just right there on the title and then the bottom for the Blu-ray logo uh, for the Blu-ray disc. And Universal also sent over this really awesome t-shirt for Renfield right there. Really nice, soft cotton. And this is from uh, the District Concert Tee is what it says on the label. But uh, really cool, I dig that. You can see all the bats and everything. And I definitely dig the heck out of this t-shirt because I love the heck out of this movie. And the picture and audio quality for this Blu-ray release is top notch. So home video enthusiasts will be pleased with this presentation. But now let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. And all you have to do to enter in to win one of the two digital copies for Renfield is first off, be a subscriber or follower and then like this video and then leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite vampire movie of all time is. And that will get you entered in to win one of the two digital copies for Renfield. And I'll be uh, closing this giveaway on Tuesday the 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So get your entries in by then. That is also the release date for Renfield, again, from Universal. And this is rated R. And it is one hour and 33 minutes for the runtime. And I definitely love the homage scenes to the 1931 Bela Lugosi uh, Dragula. And uh, the Spanish Dragula, which came out the same year, was also really good. Definitely recommend the heck out of that one. And Nicholas Holt is also going to be in another vampire movie, the Nosferatu remake coming up, uh, directed by Robert Eggers, who directed The Northman, Lighthouse, and then The Witch. Really like him as a director, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one. And Nosferatu was remade before, back in the day, with uh, Klaus Kinski. Uh, but I think it's interesting how he's going to be in two vampire movies in a short time period. And again, Nicolas Cage and The Vampire's Kiss, so there's a lot of vampire tie-ins. And uh, in the Nosferatu remake, I like the cast a lot. Willem Dafoe is actually in the Nosferatu one coming up. And he played in a few different vampire movies. Daybreakers, which I think is really underrated. Vampire's Assistant. And then Shadow of the Vampire, which I think is criminally underrated. Tremendous performance from Willem Dafoe in that one. Willem Dafoe, a.k.a. William Dafoe. Uh, check that video out on YouTube if you haven't seen that. But uh, so a lot of vampire goodness coming about. And a lot of great vampire movies out there. Uh, again, if you want to enter the giveaway for one of the two digital copies, just follow me, subscribe to uh, whatever platform this is on because I'm going to be posting this on YouTube and TikTok. And then uh, like the video and then just leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite vampire movie of all time is. That'll get you entered in. And uh, good luck to everybody who enters. And thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.